Hello friends, my name is Apoorv Kumar. I am a lecturer in mechanical engineering at uh, the Federation University in Australia. I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering from GRIT in Hyderabad, and then uh, which is where I met uh, Dr. Sudesh Kumar Singh. And with Sudesh's help uh, and guidance, I cleared gate uh, and got a master's uh, seat in IIT Madras, where I specialized in heat transfer and uh, fluid mechanics uh, topics. Uh, and soon after that, I then left uh, to Australia to do my PhD. And um, I did my PhD again in heat transfer and fluid mechanics principles uh, and applied that to industrial problems. Uh, and then after my PhD, I got a job at uh, CSIRO, uh, which is a premier research institute in Australia, where uh, I started working on uh, solar energy. So I applied uh, the heat transfer and fluid mechanics uh, knowledge to uh, designing uh, solar receivers, which are used to collect uh, the sun rays and like, transfer that energy for power generation. Um, so after that, I got a job at Federation University uh, as a lecturer. So a lecturer is the same position as an assistant professor in India. So since then, I've been working on various uh, uh, societal problems like uh, um, problems of bushfire and problems of COVID and trying to apply the mechanical engineering concepts uh, to help uh, the society in some way. So, uh, so, so this sir asked me to compile um, a video to help or uh, to give some idea to the mechanical engineering students who are looking to make a career in this uh, field. So, uh, in this uh, video, I'll talk about um, uh, what are the some what are some of the areas or opportunities uh, that are uh, that are considered quite hot nowadays, uh, and uh, how to look for jobs in in such an uh, in such a scenario. So, the main uh, the main topic or the main industry that I am quite aware of or it is also a very hot uh, industries these days uh, and that's the renewable energy sector. So as you might have seen, uh, fossil fuels are getting depleted and lot of, there's a lot of push for um, uh, renewable energy uh, uh, to come into our lives and a uh, lot of different kinds of energy options are available like solar energy, wind energy, geothermal energy, and so forth. So uh, all of these different energies, right from uh, uh, the technology when it is developed uh, in a lab to the, to the point that it comes to consumers like us, um, there's a lot of development, a lot of uh, operation requirements are there. And uh, in all of these stages of uh, renewable energy, um, generation and transmission and consumption, mechanical engineers are highly in demand. So, um, you know, physical things have to be designed and manufactured. So there are a lot of design designers who uh, do this kind of work uh, to write from the design of uh, basic ideas which run these technologies uh, to manufacturing them, to constructing them, and to supervise such construction or supervise the development of these uh, technologies is uh, where mechanical engineers are required. So uh, if you have seen power plants, obviously mechanical engineers are required in addition to other engineers, but mechanical engineers are one of the main players in this field. Another area that have seen mechanical engineers make their mark is in the business development of uh, these new technologies which are coming about. So if you want to sell your idea and get investors in, interested and to attract funding, uh, the person who talks to the investors uh, must be thorough with technology. And this is where I've seen many of my colleagues, um, they, 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 they take up a role as a business development uh, manager to pitch the technology ideas to the investors and attract funding. So this is another, uh, uh, this is another area which uh, mechanical engineers can definitely work in. So they don't, uh, they, uh, these companies, uh, they don't require MBAs uh, to do this job because they want someone who actually understands the technology uh, and can convince the investors uh, because these days investors are also quite uh, knowledgeable. So business development area is another one. 
So renewable energy, there are a lot of startups taking place, I think in India also. Uh, abroad, certainly there are a lot of startups, there are a lot of people who are looking at new and technologies uh, and a lot of funding is going into them, uh, government from the government or from the private sector. So uh, definitely renewable energy is one of the very uh, hot uh, industries to work in, uh, not only in India but uh, everywhere in the world because of uh, you know what is happening in the world these days. Uh, the gas prices are going up and everyone is looking for renewable energies. Uh, another area that uh, students can definitely look into is uh, space technology. So space technology is also catching up quite, uh, uh, quite nicely, especially in India. Uh, Indian government has now started to privatize the space sector. Previously it was occupied only by ISRO, but nowadays newer companies are coming up and new startups are starting to um, pitch their new ideas. Uh, my brother, uh, who is also a mechanical engineer, he is working in one of such startups in India and he is uh, working there as a design engineer. Um, and so uh, I, I can tell from his experience that certainly there is a lot of opportunity for mechanical engineers uh, in these sectors. Another area is automobile engineering. Um, we all know uh, mechanical engineers are required for design of uh, engines, design or testing of engineers. Uh, testing of engines, testing uh, quality control of engines, uh, design of the vehicle body, there's a lot of work going into that, testing and uh, performance uh, determination and all those things. So mechanical engineers definitely have a lot in their uh, portfolio to work on. Uh, one of the things that I would like to focus on is the electric vehicles, although electric vehicles don't have the IC engines, but uh, uh, because they are run on electricity, they have to be highly efficient. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and so the design of these uh, electric vehicles have to be, uh, the body design must be highly efficient. So you must have seen Teslas and you must have seen other different kinds of uh, electric vehicles coming in the market and all of these vehicles have very efficient design uh, and they are quite different from the designs that we have seen in our normal cars because the manufacturer now has to really work to make his uh, uh, body of the cars or other vehicles much more efficient to attain that long range by the battery. So again, uh, these are the work, uh, these, these are the design that, uh, uh, that the mechanical engineer has to work on and also electric vehicles are very costly so manufacturing cost has to be cut down. So there are different manufacturing techniques nowadays uh, which are used uh, for uh, these, uh, uh, these new designs. So you can see that all the things that I've described, everyone has to uh, play a role, but mechanical engineer definitely has a very important role in all these uh, applications and industries. So how should you uh, look for a job in this area? Uh, especially those who are still studying, those who are in their third year or fourth year in their bachelors, uh, they should definitely go out and start sending their resume uh, for an internship. So uh, don't wait for companies to come in your fourth year as a placement and then you get a job because uh, right now the market is quite uh, competitive. So it is always a good idea to uh, apply for internship in such uh, companies, mechanical companies, um, uh, for example, renewable energy companies or space technology companies or automobile companies. I'm sure there are other many different areas in mechanical engineering where you have uh, availability of internships. So look for internships or look for final year projects in such uh, institutes or in such industries, companies. And I, I know from my uh, brother's experience, uh, he has been getting many students from many engineering uh, colleges or universities around uh, in India uh, for a final year project or for an internship. So startups especially, they require a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, resources and uh, uh, and, uh, and and are really looking forward to get uh, engineering students uh, as an intern. So I would say start quite early in your uh, engineering uh, degree to start look for internships or look for summer projects in such industries and that will help you uh, add, um, add uh, uh, to your resume. So start building a resume and those who are looking to go abroad, I think uh, uh, doing a master's course is very important because then you, you get a local degree to work, uh, to have uh, in, in that country and then that makes 
uh, it much easier to get a job uh, uh, in, in a foreign country. So those who are looking to go abroad, please do apply for masters in uh, good universities. And uh, again, when you are in masters there, start to uh, look for internships um, and industrial related projects. So these are some of the ways that you can um, improve your chances of getting into industries. And I'm, I can assure you that there are a lot of career opportunities for mechanical engineers in various different kind of industries. Some of them I have listed here, but I'm sure you guys can also look into uh, or Google many other industrial uh, applications where mechanical engineers are required. So don't lose heart. Um, uh, uh, the situation may be different in India at the moment, but uh, when I did my mechanical engineering or when I selected mechanical engineering as my uh, course, many of my friends and relatives were taunting me, uh, why did you take, why didn't you choose computer science or electrical, but uh, mechanical engineering was my, uh, was my passion. And so even though there were uh, resistance from others, uh, I still uh, got through and fortunately I met Suresh sir. So that uh, really helped me build my fundamentals. So please work on your fundamentals. That is what will carry you from uh, beginning till the end. Thank you for uh, listening to me and uh, I hope it was beneficial. Have a nice day.